All right, guys, we're back, and uh, we're still in the middle of reading Genesis 7 through 10. We just got through reading some of chapter 9 in Genesis, and um, we're going to go right into um, the parable where they talk about Noah's sons, and that's in Genesis, the 9th chapter, verse 18, through the 10th chapter, verse 1. We'll probably be finishing this part, so let me get the clock going. Here we go. Noah's sons, Genesis, the ninth chapter, verse 18, through the tenth chapter, verse 1. Now the sons of Noah who went out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And Ham was the father of Canaan. These three sons were the sons of Noah. And from these the whole earth was populated. And Noah began to be a farmer, and he planted a vineyard. Then he drank of the wine and was drunk, and became uncovered in his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two brothers outside. But, but, Shem, but Shem and Japheth took a garment, laid it, laid it on both their shoulders, and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. Their faces were turned away, and they did not see their father's nakedness. So Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his youngest son had done to him. Then he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants. He shall be to his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Shem, and may Canaan be his servant. May God enlarge Japheth, and may he dwell in the tents of Shem and may Canaan be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood 350 years, so all the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. Now this is the genealogy of the sons of Noah, Shem, the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And sons were born to them after the flood. Now this is the descendants of Japheth. Genesis the 10th chapter, verses 2 through 5. The sons of Japheth were Gomer, Magog, Mada, Javan, Tubal, Meshach, and Tiras. The sons of Gomer were Ashkenaz, Rephath, and Tagorama. The sons of Javan were Elisha, Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodano. From these, the coastland people of the Gentiles were separated into their lands, everyone according to his language, according to their families, into their nations. First Chronicles, the first chapter, verses 5 through 7. First Chronicles, the first chapter, verses 5 through 7. The sons of Japheth were Gomer, Magog, Mada, Javan, Tubo, Meshach, and Tiras. The sons of Gomer were Ashkenaz, Diphath, and Tagorma. The sons of Javan were Elisha, Tar, Shisha, Kittim, and Radano. The descendants of Ham, the descendants of Ham, Genesis the 10th chapter, verses 6 through 20. The descendants of Ham, Genesis the 10th chapter, verses 6 through 20. The sons of Ham were Cush, Mizram, Put and Canaan. The sons of Cush were Seba, Havila, Sapta, Rama, and Saptika. And the sons of Rama were Sheba and Dedan. Cush begot Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one on the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Therefore, it is said, like Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord, and the beginning of his kingdom was Babel. Erech. Akkad and Kalnea and the land of Shinar. From the land he went to Assyria and built Nineveh, Rehoboth, Ir, Kala, and Rezan, between Nineveh and Kala, that is the principal city. Mizram begot Ludum, Enamim, Lehabim, Naphtuhim, Pathruzim, and Kazluhim from whom came the Philistines and Kaphtorim. Canaan begets Sidon, his firstborn, 
and Hev, the Jebusite, the Amorite, the Gergit, and the Girgashite, the Hivite, the Archite, and the Sinite, the Arvidite, the Zemarite, and the Hamathite. Afterward, the families of, Can of the Canaanites were dispersed. And the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon as you go toward Gera as far as Gaza. Then as you go toward Sodom, Gomorrah, Atma, and Zeboam, as far as Lasha. These were the sons of Ham according to their families, according to their languages, in their lands, and in their nations. First Chronicles, the 8th chapter, verses 8, excuse me, not the 8th chapter, forgive me. First Chronicles, the 1st chapter, verses 8 through 16. First Chronicles, the first chapter, verses 8 through 16. The sons of Ham were Cush, Mizram, Put, and Canaan. The sons of Cush were Seba, Havila, Sabta, Rama, and Saptika. The sons of Rama were Sheba and Dedan. Cush begot Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one on the earth. Mizram begot Ludam, Anamim, Lehabim, Naphtuham, Pathruzim, Kathluzim, from whom came the Philistines and the Castorum. Canaan begot Sidon, the firstborn, and Heth, the Jebusite, the Amorite, and the Gergesite, and the Hivite, the Archite, and the Sinite, the Arvidite, and the Zamarite, and the Hamathite. Descendants of Shem, descendants of Shem, Genesis the 10th chapter, verses 21 through 30. Descendants of Shem, Genesis the 10th chapter, verses 21 through 30. And children were born also to Shem, the father of all the children of Eber, the, the brother of Japheth the elder. The sons of Shem were Elam, Ashura, Arphaxad, Lud, and Aram. The sons of Aram were Uz, Ho, Gether, and Mash. Arphaxad begot Salah, and Salah begot Eber. The Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg, for in his days the earth was divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. Joktan begot Amodad, Shelef, Hazarmaz, Jera, Hadoram, Uzo, Dikla, Obal, Abimiel, Sheba, Afer, Havila, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan, and their dwelling place was from Misha as you go toward Sifer, the mountain of the east. First Chronicles, the first chapter, verses 17 through 23. First Chronicles, the first chapter, verses 17 through 23. The sons of Shem were Elam, Asher, Arphaxad, Lud, Aram, Uz, Ho, Gether, and Meshach. Arphaxad begat Shelah, and Shelah begat Eber. To Eber were born two sons. The name of the one was Peleg, for in his days the earth was divided. And his brother's name was Joktan. Joktan begat Amodad, Shelef, Hazarameth, and Jerah. Hadoram, Uzo, Dikla, Ebo, Abimuel, Sheba, Afer, Havila, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan. Okay, in Genesis, the 10th chapter, verses 31 through 32. Genesis, the 10th chapter, verses 31 through 32. These were the sons of Shem, according to their families, according to their languages, in their land, according to their nations. These were the families of the sons of Noah, according to their generations, in their nations. And from these nations were divided on the earth after the flood. And that's today's scriptural reading today. And I hope y'all enjoyed today's scriptural reading today. Um, tomorrow, the scriptural reading for January 4th will be Genesis 11, all the way through... Chapter 14. So we'll be reading Genesis 11 through chapter 14 and 1 Chronicles 
the first chapter, verse 24, all the way to, it looks like it's 1 Chronicles, the 24th, uh, the first chapter, verses 24 through 27 only. So it's 1 Chronicles, the first chapter, verses 24 through 27 only. Okay, guys, and after you see this video, you'll see some of um, the birthday special, the rest of the birthday special, plus I'll be finishing up my birthday special today. Um, I will be completing my 35th birthday special today by playing Wheel of Fortune for the PS3. And um, let me cut that off. It will be Wheel of Fortune for the PS3. Also, we will be doing um, Wheel of Fortune for the Wii. And we're going to conclude the 35 until 35 countdown with the Wheel of Fortune for the Wii U. Okay? Well, this is Rodney1279 signing off for right now. Take care, everybody. Be safe and be careful. And stay warm, guys. See y'all later.